Oh, Broncos country, Mile High Sports, Swipe a Gang. I hope you had a spectacular day. I hope everything went well for you this weekend. Uh, unfortunately, I hate to be the bringer of bad news, but out of Broncos training camp today, Tim Patrick, who I feel like we just talked about a couple of days ago, goes down with an Achilles injury, a full tear in his Achilles. He had just had an ACL injury last season in training camp, battled back, did everything he was supposed to do, worked hard, listened to the doctors, listened to the medical training team with the Denver Broncos, did everything he was supposed to do. Ready, year one of the Sean Payton offense, going to be next to Russell Wilson for the first time, and he goes down in seven on sevens today. Simple plant, the other foot that he did not have the ACL tear on, and uh, just goes down full tear, out for the whole season. You know, obviously my heart, my prayers go out to Tim Patrick um, as a former athlete. That, even as somebody who still competes, that is devastating. Uh, that's horrible. And obviously for Tim, you know, he earned that contract a couple of years ago. Um, had a great 2021 season, and he has just not been able to get on the field again, and it has nothing to do with him. It just, the circumstance could have been overcompensation over a year of training and then having to use the other leg often. Uh, who knows? But it's a freak injury, and it happened in the middle of nowhere. And literally, as soon as Tim did it, you can find a video of Rami Bean on Twitter. It was over. And uh, so really praying for Tim, really heartbroken for Tim. But I think the next question here is, is unfortunately, is where do the Denver Broncos go from here? Because it's not just Tim Patrick. K.J. Hamler is being waived by the Denver Broncos because K.J. has a heart condition that needs to be addressed. And then once uh, he gets that heart condition taken care of, he might be able to rejoin the team. But it doesn't mean the Denver Broncos necessarily have to bring him back. So within one day, the Broncos are now down. Tim Patrick, their clear top three receiver, arguably number three receiver, and then K.J. Hamler, who was on the roster bubble, but a second-round pick in the 2020 season. And a position that looked like a position of strength has become a situation now where there's a lot of uncertainty past Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton. Now, I will say that the Denver Broncos were very smart, went out and got, got Marquez Calloway from the New Orleans Saints. They have Marvin Mims Jr., the second-round draft pick from the Oklahoma Sooners, Got Kendall Hinton. They have other receivers on the roster that could fill that spot, including Montreal Washington, obviously, as well. Uh, but, man, it's just really unfortunate because Tim Patrick is going to have a really great opportunity this year with Russell Wilson and Sean Payton. But the Broncos have to respond because they have to win this season. Sean Payton already said and came out that, look, we need to make the playoffs this year, and we're going to do everything we can to take care of that. Uh, so they're going to have to do that now without one of their team leaders. And it's really, really, really unfortunate, obviously. There are a couple wide receivers on the market. I was looking this up a little bit earlier today. Uh, Kenny Galladay is out there. Sammy Watkins is out there. Julio Jones is out there. Jarvis Landry is out there. T.Y. Hilton is out there. Uh, there are a couple players that ostensibly you could ask to fill this role, come in, be a solid additional receiver to add to the roster, but who knows? Yeah, who knows how things will turn out from here? But it's really unfortunate because the Denver Broncos are in prime position to do something really special this year. They're going to be fielding another elite defense. I mean, the defense, you know, first couple, well, really the first half of the season, it was arguably a top two, top three defense. Them, uh, the 49ers, the Cowboys, uh, they were relentless. They weren't getting to the, the pass a lot, meaning they weren't getting a lot of sacks. But the pass rush... The DBs, all of that is there. The inside linebacker play, Joji Jewell, Alexander Singleton. Uh, you know, they have some real opportunities this year. But they're going to need to play really well. Um, because right now, the offense is looking like it's going to have to figure things out. Now with these injuries, Javante Williams coming back from tearing his ACL. I believe it's LCL, like a couple of different things. He's looks like he's primed for week one. Samaji so Ryan is also going to be there and be available. So... Again, the Broncos have a lot of opportunity in front of them, but now it's about how do we replace Tim Patrick's production and Marcus Callaway, Marvin Mims Jr. They're probably more than ready. 
to step up, but it's going to be very difficult. So obviously very, very sad to hear about Tim Patrick. Hope he heals up very quickly. We'd love to see him play another year with the Denver Broncos, but you know, you know how the business goes, y'all. But Swiper Gang, Mile High Sports, Broncos Country, what do y'all think? What should the Denver Broncos do? Who do you think can fill that role that Tim Patrick leaves behind? Hey, let me know what you think in the comment section, y'all.